Hi everyone. The purpose of this video is to explain you how do you record your own lessons with the help of uh, zoom.us. Now you need to go on a site called zoom.us, create an account. Now once you create an account and log in, just click on host a meeting with video on. Now once you click on host a meeting with video on, it will download the zoom client. So once it's downloaded, now since, since I already have it on my machine, I just need to click on open zoom meetings and it opens up. Once the zoom client opens up, you will see your video. You would see links like invite uh, now because I don't need to invite anyone uh, in this video. Uh, I just want to record myself. I would not you know, click here. That's your record button. So you need to click on the record button as well as understand the share screen concept because share screen is where it allows you to record your PowerPoint, your Excel or any activity you do on the computer. So I will just click on record. And as soon as I click on record, I'll click on share screen. Now out here it gives you a lot of options. What I would do is I would click on screen because this records practically everything I do on my computer. I click on share. So now what's done is it started recording my computer. So if I have a PowerPoint open, I could just Uh, demonstrate the PowerPoint and point out uh, you know to the students that okay that's how these options work in if I have an Excel file open I could you know type on that Excel file and show them the options similarly anything I navigate would be visible to them and the best part is the controls and options are so easy now if I want to click on stop share, now as soon as I do that, it again starts recording my, continuing my video. And clicking on stop recording would actually stop the recording and save it in the zoom folder. So those are the date wise zoom folders what you see. So it will start, uh, you know, creating folders in that. So now I think that's the meeting we worked on. Uh, so any meeting you worked on, you just go on that folder. And only once you need to double click on it to process it. So it takes some time depending on how long the video is to process the videos. But if you see, the recording aspect is very simple. Now in case you want an HD video, what you could do is click on the video settings and enable the HD. I already had HD enabled, so what it does is it makes the size a little bit more, uh, you know, bigger the size of the video. So, as you see, it's quite easy to use this tool. I recommend all the teachers to use it. Uh, sometimes it's not easy to handle a classroom of 30 to 40 to 50 children on a live chat, so it's always good to record a lesson in your spare time. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you.